Hey guys, Keaton here from TechSmart, and curved smartphones have kind of been the talk of the town recently. Samsung, Samsung just went ahead and released their Samsung Galaxy Round, which is the first ever curved smartphone, and LG just went ahead and released their uh, LG G Flex, which they're calling the first real curved smartphone out there. So there's definitely a competition just in the names and how they're going ahead and marketing it, as this technology is quite new. We saw little of this at CES 2013 this year, but the LG G Flex is different, as the Samsung Galaxy Round is curved from the left to right. The LG G Flex is curved from top to bottom, so it's definitely a different way in how the phones kind of feel in your hands. And I'm definitely excited going to check out both phones. We'll have both of them coming in. We'll do comparisons on how they feel, things along those lines. But the official specifications were confirmed by LG today, so let's go ahead and take a look to see what the G Flex packs. So immediately hopping into specifications here, as I know a lot of spec heads like myself are going to want to know what this type, this new type of technology is packing. So on the LG side of things here, it features a flexible OLED display to go and account for the horizontal axis of a curve. In terms of thickness and thinness here, at the thinnest point it comes in at 7.9 millimeters, and at the thickest point of the phone, it comes in at 8.7 millimeters. So it's pretty slim overall. Now hopping into the processing power side of things, it comes in at a 2.26 gigahertz Snapdragon 800 quad-core processor, which is just an absolute beast. Following that is two gigabytes of RAM, a 13 megapixel camera, and in terms of screen size here, this is where it kind of gets a bit funky. Remember, it's curved from the top to the bottom of the phone. It's a six inch display and it comes in at a resolution of 1280 by 720. So that's a 720p HD screen. And a lot of phones are really pushing 1080p HD screens. So it's kind of interesting to see LG taking a different approach as their flagship, the LG G2 right now. And this phone looks exactly like that, just with a curve and a few other spec upgrades. It has the buttons on the back, but it's interesting to see how they go ahead and take an approach with a 720p HD display. Also, the Samsung Galaxy Round features a 1080p display, so that's just like a little quick comparison for you guys. Now, in terms of battery life here, is this is one of my... I like this feature a lot. It features a 3500 milliamp hour battery, which is just absolutely screaming long, and you can definitely get more than a day's worth of use. That's 24 hours for some people that don't know. So this phone's definitely going to be able to last you a long time, and it's going to be curved for that cool pocket of yours. So now with all the curved smartphones coming out from probably one of the top two manufacturers right now, LG is calling this the first real curved smartphone out there. So it's definitely a jab at Samsung and I like this competition as it yields us better products in the long run. So the Samsung Galaxy Round featured a few kind of proprietary features that made the Galaxy Round pretty cool. Obviously the curved display is nice, but when you went ahead and tilted the phone to either the left or right side due to the curve, the complete orientation would change to said curve to go ahead and allow you to use it in a more comfortable and different way way than you were used to in the past. Also there was a few cool music that was called sound it was called Boom UX which enables you to just tap on the left or right side of your screen to change the music. Now you cannot forget that the LG G Flex is featuring some cool features. It also does the same thing like the Samsung Galaxy Round where you tilt it on one of the sides and obviously the orientation is going to switch. And one of the really 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 cool compelling things is the back of this thing is self-healing. They compared it to the Wolverine from X-Men, which is a great movie by the way, and what it can do is if you get scratches on there, the back can actually self-heal itself and wipe those scratches completely away. This isn't just like your iPhone where you could go ahead and key it a few times and then just wipe it away with your fingerprint. This is actually a self-healing back, so I'm definitely going to want to know how this holds up with some uh, rigorous scratching to see if it can even hold up to the toughest of toughest scratches, and if you guys are excited for that, go ahead and give this video a like. But it's some new technology we've not seen before, so I'm kind of thinking to myself, what could they use to get self-healing stuff? Did they call up the Wolverine himself? Did they call up did he did they call him up and say, what you guys use in the movie to go ahead and portray this aspect to people and I cannot wait to go and check out that feature and that's a pretty big buying point as getting scratches on your phone can suck. So I think LG's G Flex here has really done it. So just summing up this video here, there's been no talk for an international release, but I really hope they go ahead and do it as this is such a cool technology that people in other parts of the world, not just the home country where this is manufactured, would love to go ahead and indulge in this awesome experience of curved smartphones. I definitely know that I would. So what do you guys think of the LG G Flex? Are you guys adapted to the whole curved smartphones? Are you guys ready for a change as rectangular smartphones have been out for a long time? I think seven to nine years in terms of the whole touchscreen aspect here. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. 
Also go and give this video a like if you enjoyed what the LG G Flex has to tout and if you like the LG G Flex a little bit more than the Samsung Galaxy Round. And if you want to check out to see what the Samsung Galaxy Round features, that link can be found right below that like button on this video. Finally, go and subscribe to the channel. It's free. There's an annotation on your screen or a button in the middle part of your page where you're viewing this, either it's Safari, Internet Explorer, Chrome, I hope you're using that, Firefox, etc. And you can go ahead and click that to be notified when we produce a brand new video and it allows you to see our content first, which is always cool and it's free, so that's just a huge plus in my book. Then, thank you guys once again. I really do appreciate all the support you've given me and I have a few giveaways coming up, so go ahead, go ahead and stay tuned to the channel and subscribing lets you know when there's a first giveaway coming your way. Thank you guys once again and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.